Hey guys, Billy Davidson here with Davidson Pressure Washing and Painting. In this video, we're gonna go over some steps and the technique and the price of what you should be charging to restore a water fountain. All right, guys, thanks for joining us in this video. This is a water fountain that we're gonna be restoring. If you are familiar with my YouTube channel, you'll see some other videos on these type of projects in the past. And what I've done, I've done a few of these so far this year, and I developed a price per linear foot for restoring these water fountains. So make sure you stay towards the end of the video and we're gonna go over that price and structure and you can start going after some of this work. Also, I'd like to mention, we got this job off of one of our parking lot striping customers. I tell guys all the time that parking lot striping jobs lead into all types of other work. If you're interested in learning more, there'll be a link down in the description to the all pro parking lot striping course. So before we get into how to clean this, how to paint it, how to price it, I want to talk to you about how you can get some of these jobs because you got to be able to get to work to implement what we're teaching here in this YouTube video and my YouTube channel. The way I get some of these jobs, obviously this one came from our parking lot striping customer, but I've gotten these jobs in the past by presenting flyers to the homeowner. Oftentimes these homeowners have no idea who to call to get this service done. So presenting a flyer to them, letting them know that you can wash and paint it for that customer could net you a lot of business. And also oftentimes these homeowners that live in gated communities have HOA writing them letters telling them their fountain looks bad. And again, they have no idea who to call. They may have spent 30 or $40,000 on putting this fountain in. Trust me, this is not cheap. Putting this reservoir in, having this fountain brought in by professionals, this is expensive. And they, all the money they've spent on this fountain is making their property look bad because they have no one to service it. As you see here, the first step you wanna clean it, we're using a small pressure washer that produces about 2000 PSI and about two gallons a minute. That's really all you need or really you should be using on cleaning a fountain because again, too much pressure could topple this thing over. And even when you are pressure washing, as you see in some of these clips here, we're supporting the backside with a broom, something to stabilize it because you don't want to topple this over. It's only gravity holding this thing down. It's not anchored. They even have some wedges underneath the fountain to kind of make it level. So the water level is level. So be easy on it. And by no means you want to put any weight on it. You don't want to lean on it. You don't want to prop a ladder on it. And you definitely don't want to step on it. So be really careful when cleaning it. Use a small pressure washer. We did use some sodium hypochlorite to remove some of the mildew, but there again, you're gonna have to use a little bit of pressure to kind of clean it up. So you're not gonna be able to soft wash this only. This little pressure washer, usually you pick up from one of the big box stores for just two or $300 and it works really good for cleaning fountains. Actually, this is a little pressure washer that I use around my house, cleaning my pool deck out in my garage. And we have some really big pressure washers that would blow this thing over. So be careful with that. Now, as you see here, we're using a backpack blower. As you see, Zach is supporting the backside of the fountain with a push broom because even with a strong blower, we didn't want to take the chance of toppling this thing over. We use this blower to help facilitate the drying because this was going to be a one day project wash it, clean it all up, and then dry it with the backpack blower. You know, this was a hot sunny day, so we were able to do this all in one day. And we're gonna talk about the type of paint we use that is very important when cleaning these fountains towards the end of the video along with how you can price it. So once we did all of this, we made sure we got any standing water out of it. We even took a couple shop towels and kind of helped wipe it down. And at that point, we decided the fountain needed to set in the sun for a couple hours. So we left the job site to go grab a sandwich and go to the paint store to get our supplies for repainting it. So again, we're gonna talk about the price right towards the end of the video that will help you price these fountains very carefully and perfectly every time. But I just want to reiterate that these fountains are very expensive for your customer to install. You can imagine all the landscaping, all the dirt work, having the pros come in, building the reservoir, then bringing the fountain in. Oftentimes these fountains are very heavy so they have to have some type of overhead crane to set them in place. So these customers have spent a good deal of money on these fountains many times 
tens of thousands of dollars. And now the fountain has been neglected and looks horrible and makes their whole property look bad because they have this one eyesore. They have no idea who to call. So make sure you go after some of these jobs. These jobs can be done in one day. You can clean them and paint them in one day. Matter of fact, we had about six hours into this fountain altogether. But be honest with you, two hours of that time was letting it dry. So you could go do something else in between or come back the following day to paint it. The way we price these out is we measure these fountains, the height. We go from ground level to the very top of it. There are a lot of ways that you can price these out, but this is the way I found that was most fair for me and for my customer. Once I get my height, in this case was eight feet, I multiplied eight by 135 and that's how i come up with my price and you can do it the same way whatever the height of it is from ground level so this is sitting on a pedestal but you still want to measure from the ground because you're cleaning out that reservoir underneath it and then you're painting the entire fountain so from ground level all the way to the top multiply that by 135 dollars and that will be your price to restore this fountain and make it look great again guys don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and please don't forget to go visit my website there'll be a link down in the description billydavisonvip.com if you want to learn more about parking lot striping and to grow your pressure washer business well, guys thanks for watching this video and we hope to see you in the next video